I like your sugar. So, Nico. Really? You know I'm filming. Now I have to edit that out. I didn't want to edit this video. Love you. You an asshole. Oh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be like a food video, like a favorite foods. Um, kind of like the things that I like to get when I go grocery shopping and what I've been loving. So I've repurchased. Um, I said a while back that I was on starting this healthy lifestyle journey. And I was going to start incorporating those videos onto my channel. So if you don't like those type of videos, then accept this video because this is the type of video it's going to be. I just want to give a variety to my channel so I just don't want to stick to just fashion and makeup. And also this is about me. You guys want to know more about me. This is part of my lifestyle. And eating healthy has been one of the main things that has been um, on my mind and what I've been focusing on doing. So, a little bit behind why I decided to actually just say, okay, I want to start this healthy lifestyle journey. Um, I'm not getting any older. I'm at the age where I'm talking about marriage, talking about having children. And, you know, I want to be the happiest and the feeling the best as I can be. Not saying that I'm not happy. I'm always happy. I'm happy. <laughs> but just being the best that I can be best physically, mentally, emotionally. So being prepared for my wedding, having fitting into that wedding dress, being prepared to carry a child and not being tired and, you know, getting into that lifestyle where I can stick to and maintain my weight. So that way I could play it with my children and not get out of breath and be all tired and, you know, that's kind of why I just feel like, okay, I need to change the way I eat. I need to get into better shape. I just need to overall cleanse my whole life. So that's basically what I've been doing. I've been cleaning out my closet, getting rid of old clothes, old makeup, redoing everything, um, some of everything, cleansing out emails and every, just everything, just Getting rid of the old and bringing in some new and just changing a whole lot of things about my life that I want to change. So this video I'm going to show you guys because I, want, I actually wanted to film this video last month. But I ended up using majority of the products that I wanted to show in this video. So I waited till I went shopping again. And I just came back from grocery shopping a uh, day before yesterday with my sister. And then I went a few days before with my mom to pick out some more stuff that I needed to include in this video that I've been eating that I actually enjoy eating. So I want to start off with one of the things that I've been loving the most lately and it's cabbage. And this is just a green cabbage. You know they have green and they have red and this is just a green cabbage. And what I actually like to do with this cabbage is make like a spicy um jerk cabbage and i found the recipe on pinterest believe it or not pinterest is the end all be all when finding recipes especially for healthy like lifestyle recipes now um i do use the word the word healthy you know loosely because not all recipes that they say healthy on pinterest are healthy but in a way it's healthy for some people some people have different um, goals like if you want a low salt, salt diet or a no salt diet or a low carb diet, you know. So it depends on what you you are going for. Me personally, I am not on a low salt or a low carb. It's just being healthy and making healthier choices and um, portion control for me. So um, I'm not necessarily t trying to count calories, although I do with some some foods, but it's just eating healthy and picking healthier choices. I've um, included more vegetables. Um, and I actually eat a vegetable every meal now. Um, um, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. That's a whole other video. But just keep in mind, Pinterest is a great site to be on to find healthy recipes. So I'm going to leave a link to that recipe down below. It's not necessarily a healthy recipe, but it's a recipe that I like because um, 
it's basically just using different spices and if you like me I like to use different spices and I do like spicy food so the jerk cabbage is definitely one of the things that I incorporated into my lifestyle because of course you still eat a vegetable is cabbage and you mix corn and uh, I mean not corn carrots and onions and stuff like that but it's just a, another side dish alternative than eating some french fries or a uh, baked potato or you know something that's not healthy but I love cabbage I've been loving cabbage lately green onion um I usually go for the organic green onions but I mean you by, by all means go with whatever uh, produce that you like and I just recently uh, made some chicken tacos last night so I did use part of one of my um green onion stalks and I still have another one I simply only get two or three at a time because you know um I don't like to have produce just laying around in the fridge I like it when they're fresh so I literally went work right down the street from Whole Foods so I could easily stop in Whole Foods and get some more um you know green onion so I only get a little bit at a time um cilantro I usually typically go for the organic cilantro but the organic cilantro that they had I just really didn't like the way it looked and so I went for this one I got this one from Target and this one is the green giant cilantro I absolutely love cilantro I love the way it tastes I use it in my guacamole I make fresh guacamole and I make fresh pico de gallo and I absolutely love it. I also incorporate it with some uh, fish dishes as well like tilapia and stuff like that. So I do love cilantro. Okay, next I have um, romaine lettuce. Now with uh, romaine lettuce, I, typically, I really don't care if it's organic or not. Um, to be honest, I just get whichever one that looks nice. I don't like my lettuce brown and ugly and just soggy looking. So this is the one I got the day before yesterday. Um, I got it from a, a market called Mariano's um, because that's where my sister took me. And it was like two something, like two sixty nine, and you get three of them. I used part of the other one today. I had a salad and I did post it on Instagram. I had like a chicken salad with um, organic um, mustard and I mean organic honey mustard dressing and some a hard boiled egg. I just love salads now. And this is how it looks. You can cut it and chop it up. This is also good for um, if you want to have like tacos and you don't want to use the bread. You can use like a leaf of romaine lettuce as your shell. You can use um, lettuce wraps and all that good stuff with it. So I do a lot with rom romaine lettuce. Next, um, this is just the one that I had left in this bag. This is a red onion. I absolutely love red onions. I put them in my salads as well as my pico de gallo, my um, guacamole, and all the other dishes that I use. Um, for um, when I cook, um, I make like a mango salsa when I do my tilapia and stuff like that. So I absolutely love red onions. I love them better than yellow and white onions. Next, limes. Limes is like becoming my best friend. Um, I use it with a lot of fish dishes um, as well as when I make my guacamole. Some people like to use lemon, but to me lemon is too much lemony for me. I like to use lime, so I have a lot of these because they're really inexpensive. So limes are my best friend, especially for seafood. Limes, limes, limes. Avocados. Love avocado. I use them in my salads and I also use them when I make my fresh guacamole. Absolutely. I'm actually going to make some after this video because I absolutely love them. I did have some the other day and it's, it's a great fat, not like a bad fat, it's a good fat. Um, so I don't try to overindulge, but when I do have a taste or a craving for it, I just go ahead and whip up a batch of guacamole and, you know, eat it with my boyfriend because he actually loves guacamole as well. Cucumbers. Now I had a love-hate relationship with cucumbers. I absolutely used to hate the taste of cucumbers but since I incorporated um, salads into my lifestyle 
I actually love cucumbers. And this is the one that I actually started using today. I got two of them because cucumbers to me don't last long. And like I said, I work right down the street from Whole Foods. So I can go and get more if I want. And I have to actually chop this up and put it in a mason jar. So that way it'll last longer. But cucumbers are definitely become a major favorite of mine. Um, also, eggs. Hard boiled eggs. This is actually an egg. It's not hard boiled. Love them. I started um, boiling them and eating them as snacks. Um, I put them in my salads as well. Love them. Um, at first, I used to hate like the inside of the egg, like the yolk. But that's actually the um, the better part for you. Like some people think the egg whites are the better part for you. But you know, it's many debates about it which one is the better part. But the actual yolk is actually the best part for you in the egg. So I actually like it now. Um, whew, I have a, quite a few more things. This here, I actually this is not like a a health the healthiest, but it's a healthier alternative than eating mayonnaise or Miracle Whip or you know something like that if you're making sandwiches. And I actually. Pick this up on a whim. Now, let me tell you, Dollar Tree is the bomb.com when it comes to going in there and finding out something. Because you can always go to like a supermarket and find it later. But to get it for a dollar, like, why not? Um, and this is the Hid Hidden Valley Parmesan Basil Pesto Sandwich Spread and Dip. Now I use this as a sandwich spread. I don't eat it as a dip. Um, and this is how it looks. I'm going to bring that up. That's what it is. This is a healthy alternative than mayo and um, smell. It's, it smells just like um, Parmesan. I'm like, oh my god. Um, and you can smell a little bit of ranch in there as well. It's a healthy alternative when you use it on. You grill the chicken breast and put like lettuce and tomato and put this on the bread as a spread. <sighs> amazing. It's just amazing. And this is only 25 calories. Per tablespoon, which is not bad at all compared to mayonnaise and Miracle Whip and all of that stuff. Only one gram of carb. It is very, very low in sodium and it has absolutely no sugar in it whatsoever. So, no cholesterol. It's a really great alternative. So, definitely try to get like a pesto type of spread than to use mayonnaise. So, this one is good. I highly recommend this one. Um, whoo, sweet potato. Now, I love the way my mom cooks sweet potatoes, and thank God Thanksgiving is right around the corner because I can actually enjoy my Thanksgiving. I am not going to sugarcoat and eat like a bird on Thanksgiving. No, God, I am going to dive in, okay? So, I absolutely love the way she makes them, but they're not healthy at all the way she makes them. She put a lot of butter and sugar in. It's just sweet and delicious. But I recently started baking a sweet potato in the oven and putting in just a little bit of butter and a little bit of coconut sugar, which I'm going to show you in a minute, and some cinnamon. And it is amazing. So I definitely, and then sweet potatoes is great for you as well. It has a lot of health benefits. I don't know all of them. I'll leave them uh, a list, a link down below so you can get the benefits of sweet potato. Um, but it is great when baked and you just eat it. It's just so good. So I definitely have a new love for baked sweet potato in the way, the healthy way, the way that I do it. And which leads me to this. This is, um, this is some coconut sugar by Nutivia. And it is vegan and non-GMO. And it's organic coconut sugar and it's unrefined. It has a sweet caramel flavor taste to it, so it's good for teas, it's good for coffees, it's good for whatever you want to put it on. It'll give it a nice sweet caramel type taste to it. Now, you were, the caramel taste is not distinct, um, but it's, I would say that it's better than regular sugar to me because I used it on my steak sweet potato and I use it when I make my coffee. Now, I do, I don't, I'm not giving up coffee. That's one thing I'm not giving up. I only drink coffee one time a day. It's not like I'm an abusive coffee drinker and I drink it like three, four, five times a day. I drink it once a day when I feel the need to drink it. Other than that, I drink green tea. Um, but it just smells so good. And this is how it looks. It's like a brown sugar, 
but it melts you know you, you don't see any color to it and it smells so good like I wish you guys could smell it. It smell like um, those graham crackers, you know, like those long little sheets of graham crackers. It smell like that, with like a hint of like, like um, caramel to it. Like yeah, like you can really smell like the hint of caramel in this sugar. So this is how the bag looks, and I actually picked this up from Marshalls, and it was only $4.99. $4.99 so Marshalls I'm telling you guys they they step up their game with the food choices and they really bring in a lot of organic food like a lot so um this one is definitely I will continue to buy this sugar um even if I don't find it at Marshalls I'll google it and find it and I will buy it because I really like the taste of this sugar and I actually give you some a few recipes on the back on how to do cookies and you can go to the website and get more recipes so yeah, I really like this sugar and I'm definitely going to continue to buy this sugar. Next we have, I have a lot of food choices for you guys, but this, these are some of the items that I actually like and I'm glad that I added to my healthy lifestyle journey. So this one here, I believe I had this in a favorites video, I'm not sure, I think I did. Um, and I just love this brand, so I will continue to buy this brand. It's the Simply Balanced brand from Target. And this is the Honey Almond Flax Granola. And I use this with my, when I make my breakfast parfaits with either strawberries or blueberries with my vanilla yogurt. And I put this on top. Amazing. Amazing. So this is how it looks. And I absolutely love it. It's really, really nice. It has... A great amount of fiber in it. It don't have that much amount of sugar. Has six grams of protein in it. Um, no cholesterol. Really, really good. So I mean, it's it's good enough for me. It's not the healthiest, but I like to still find healthy choices, but not affect the flavor. I don't like stuff that don't have flavor. It's just blah, bland taste. I don't like that. That's one thing I I. No, I'm not going to give up when doing this. Type. I don't like stuff that don't have flavor or have a nasty, dry taste to it. It's just not going to happen. Um, I will stick to these because it, are, it is some out there that's just horrible. Don't have no type of taste to it or nothing. So, I like these. They have different other um, choices, other mixtures. But this one is my favorite. It has that nice honey taste to it. And it has um, almonds in it, and you know almonds are good for you. Um, next, me and my boy, well, my boyfriend and I. Let me speak correct English, um, or correct grammar. Love tuna, and I just recently picked up a lot more of these tunas because they were on sale for like seventy cent a piece. And this is the Star Kiss tuna, and it has omega three in it. And this one is in water. I always get the one in water. I know some like to get them in oil, but it's just, I don't like the oily taste to it. So I get the one that's in water. And I like to use this with just making a simple like tuna salad with, you know, onions and egg, like regular tuna salad. Or I like to just use this as a protein when I'm making a salad and I use this as like my meat. So, love tuna. I also love getting beans and I love um, cooking beans. I did have some pinto beans that I had but I used me and my boyfriend ate those and they were delicious. But these are organic beans that I got from Mariano's and these are the organic black beans. Now I did use half of these because it was a full bag. These are the organic black beans and then these are the organic red kidney beans and I absolutely love kidney beans as well I love using the black beans for my um salsas and I have like a black bean um salsa like I like to do and I also use them in my chili and I use these in my chili as well so I like to make them from scratch now because the cans um you know they have a lot of stuff in there and I like to actually cook them and know what I'm putting in my beans so that's what I started doing. I cook them from scratch. 
Um, olives. These came from Dollar Tree. They're $1. Now, I typically don't go for the canned olives. I like to get the fresh ones from Whole Foods. But I recently just wanted to, since they was there and they was a dollar, I wanted to try them out and see how the can takes from the you know the fresh ones and those fresh ones could be quite expensive if you know what i mean if you go to whole foods and you go to the olives little section thing you can see how expensive those olives can be so i decided to go ahead and get a few cans of these since they was a dollar and i like to put these in my um salad um i didn't put them in the salad that i made today because i didn't feel like eating olives but i put them in my salads and these are just regular large olives pitted olives so and they were one dollar so love olives um next i have my favorite yogurt now i am going to go a little bit out the box next time um when i get my yogurt because i just want to try something different i want to get some greek yogurt or try the Chobani yogurt i did try one of those but maybe the flavor that i got it was just horrible it was nasty um, but I like to get the Dan and Light and Fit Vanilla Yogurt and I don't, I absolutely, absolutely hate the plain yogurt. It tastes horrible. Even when you put honey and fresh fruit in it, it just tastes horrible. So anytime I get um, yogurt, it has to be vanilla. I mean, I don't have to have strawberry and all that. It has to be vanilla. At least vanilla is a nice taste to it. Plain yogurt is just horrible. It's just Oh, it's just horrible. I can't. I can't do it. I tried it and I just couldn't do it. I had got a big tube of it like this. And I was putting it in my um, smoothies, which is what I typically use these for. I use them for my smoothies and I use them for my breakfast parfaits. And it was just horrible. So I went back to my vanilla, stick with what you know. And um, I absolutely love this. It's only 110 calories per serving. And that's an 8 ounce serving. And it has um, 330 milligrams of potassium, no fat, um, 7 grams of protein, a few grams of carbs, but I really don't, I don't care about carbs, I don't, you know, I don't try to look at carbs, I'm not on a low carb diet, and a few grams of sugar, so I really like the vanilla yogurt, and this is the light and fit one, and this is the one I always get. So, I think I'm going to try a different one next time. Maybe I'll get the Dan and Light and Fit Greek Yogurt because they do got that one. And see if I like that one. Because I know Greek Yogurt is the better better version for you. So, yeah. My favorite yogurt. These, um, this right here is another um, thing I want to talk about. This is ground golden flaxseed. And I use this in everything. I put this in my salads. I put this in some of everything. You can use this for everything. And look what I paid for it. I got it from Marshalls. And it was $5.99. And this stuff lasts a long time, I'm telling you. Because it comes with a scoop. Now the scoop is probably lost in there now because I shook it up. But that's how it looks. And as you can see, it looks like I haven't even been using it. But I use this stuff faithfully. It's just... When you shake it up, it kind of fluff back up. So, I don't know. I don't know how it do it, but it be like compact like like that. But then when you shake it up, it fluffs back up. So, it's like you never even used it. But this is how it looks. It don't have a smell at all. And it's um, natural milled golden flaxseed in it. I'm sorry, you guys. I got them stopped up. I got a cold, but I'm trying to film these videos anyway. <laughs> And it has 4 grams of fiber per serving, 2,800 milligrams of omega-3 per serving, and 3 grams of protein per serving. And a serving size is one scoop. One scoop is... Oh, what is one scoop? One scoop is two tablespoons. So for every two tablespoons, you get all of that in that one serving. And it's only 70 calories per serving and plus all of the other stuff. So it's really great. I mix it in my dressings I, for my salads. I put it in my um, smoothies and it's great. You can also substitute it for egg and butter in your recipes. So instead of using one egg, you can use 
one tablespoon. It gives you a little diagram back here. You can use one tablespoon of flax and some water, and instead of using butter, you can use the flax um, as well. So, and it also gives you a um, recipe for a flax lemon dressing, which I'm going to try making myself as well. But I absolutely love this stuff, and it's great. Um, for you know having the extra benefits and getting your extra fiber and protein so I love those and then I have two more items yes last but not least um, are these dressings that I've been I just recently got this one I use a lot this one I use once but I still love it and these are some salad dressings that I got from Marshalls believe it or not and they both were only $2.99 and they're organic they're Bratz organic um, dressings this one is the honey mustard okay and then this one is the raspberry vinaigrette and I usually like to use this one I have like a fruity um, salad when I put strawberries and walnuts and stuff like that in my salad this one I go for the raspberry vinaigrette and this one I thought was going to be so nasty but it's so delicious. Um, and this one, this is how this one look. So uh, yeah, I told you guys Marshalls is stepping up their game with the food choices and having organic food and these both are organic. Um, I'm going to try to leave the names of the organic stuff that I listed so you can maybe search for them in your local food market or online or something but this one is these two are really really good um, I want to see if they have some other choices like maybe an organic ranch or organic you know Caesar salad something like that um, these are really good two I measure everything so two tablespoons is only 60 calories um, only two grams of sugar which is not bad this is for the raspberry one no cholesterol very low sodium and only three grams of carbohydrates. For this one, it's 80 calories per serving, which is two tablespoons. Um, six grams of um, carbohydrates, which is not bad, I really don't care. But this one has a little bit more sodium in it, but it's not bad. It's, it don't taste salty at all. I don't taste the salt. But both of these are really, really amazing and good. So I'm gonna definitely try to see if I can find some more, and if I do, I'm going to leave the links down in the description box because these are some really amazing, especially the, I love the honey mustard one. It's so good. It's so good. And then um, I'm going to talk about water because I drink a lot of water now. I still drink um, soda every now and then because it's just, I just feel like I have the urge for it. Although I'm trying to cut down because I'd rather eat my calories than drink them. Um, but, yeah, lots and lots of water, definitely. And then, um, I'm going to show, one thing that is not good that I'm going to be including in this video, um, I mean, it's good for your heart, but it's not good for, you know, all you healthy Nazi eaters. Um, wine. And I typically like to drink a glass of wine a day. Sometimes too, if I'm having a bad day, um, don't judge me. And no, if you, I do not encourage drinking underage. I am in my 20s. So no, no underage drinking. But I do incorporate a glass of wine or two sometimes when I come for work at the end of the day. But because, you know, they take you there, you just gotta go home, you gotta drink a glass of wine. And this one has been my favorite wine. Um, it's by Barefoot. I do try different wines. Um, I try sometimes I post them on Instagram, so if you follow my Instagram, you will see. Um, but this one has been my favorite so far. This is my second bottle this week. Don't judge me. Um, I haven't opened it yet. Um, and this is by Barefoot, and it's the Riesling wine. And yeah, I just drink one glass. Sometimes two. And not like full glass. This is the glass I have right now because this is the last of my other bottle. And I typically fill it up to about right here. So a little bit more than half. I don't have a full glass of wine. And this is a nice size glass. It's not like a big wine glass. So yeah, not bad at all. I mean. Just 
just so good. Um, and then I'm going to talk about this app that I feel that um, you guys may be interested in. I actually just recently started using this app. Um, I am on my Fitness Pal. Um, I actually don't upload. I don't upload my stuff on there, but I'm going to start uploading my stuff on there, like stuff that I eat on a daily basis, just in case you guys want to see what I actually like to eat um, and what I eat on a daily basis. So I'm gonna remind. I'm gonna set a reminder to do that. In case you guys want to, you know, follow me on my fitness pal, I put my information down in the description box. But this app here is called My Diet Coach, and it's a very nice motivational app. And it looks like this. It's it's right here. It's called My Diet Coach. This little app right here, and I'm gonna click it so you can see. Um, you can set like different challenges for yourself if you go right here and select the challenges. This is before like your current weight, like you have to put in your weight, your height, your goal. My goal is to lose at least 30 pounds within the next six to seven months. But it, you pick the time and the amount of weight you want to lose. So this is my current weight. This is how I look currently and this is how I would look, whew, how I would look when I lose my 30 pounds on this side okay so right here you have you can upload pictures I have took some pictures of how I look now so I can keep track of my journey and stuff like that and how, how I progress it also have tips you can get reminders set up for motivational quotes on to keep pushing and you know stuff like that and then challenges You can pick your challenges yourself. It's different ones. You can make your own. So this this is the one that I picked. Drink more water. And you um, can drink 8 ounces of water a day. And every time you drink a glass of water, you tap it. So that way you get your points for that day. Um, this one also, my challenge is no sugary drinks, which is no juices, no sodas. Um, this one right here is... Um, Sit-ups, do at least 40 sit-ups a day. And then the one at the bottom is eat a salad a day, which is the one that I created. And which is what I started doing. So I'm going to put all of the link down to the app down below. I have um, Google Play, so I'll try to find one for iTunes as well. But that's pretty much it. This is a pretty, pretty long video. But I hope that it inspires some of you and helps some of you. Um, let me know. If you have any questions, leave them down in the description, uh, in the comment box. If you have any suggestions as far as food, any um, organic food, I'm trying to gear move towards more organic, um, especially produce and um, stuff like dressings and stuff like that. I feel like organic is better, in my opinion. Um, it don't necessarily have to be organic as far as, you know, crackers or, you know, chips or anything like that. So, if you have any healthy meals or recipes or food, just leave them down in the comment section. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.